Community Report. Um, and we started looking at the historical and um, what the requests were on here and made a few changes in that. Um, so it's only at 0.27%. Community service. Um, we pulled out some of the items in here because we'd already purchased them in the current year and with a with no additional position in this or budget for this, um, we didn't need some of those items. So it is down 14.46%. What falls under community service? That's your ankle monitoring. Okay, that's what I thought. Thanks. <coughs> and and I are, are we still comfortable our return on investments appropriate with that? Yes, question. Oh. Okay. So I guess because I think it's when we, when we talk about before it's just the issue of just as, just as quick as you achieve the savings that you anticipate, you're in, uh, appearing debt just as fast. So the, the deal is getting filled up just as fast. Uh, they, you know, I think it's something that we really want. They might have to reevaluate. You know, it's something to think about. I think it's fair to say, from from my perspective, that it was somewhat of a surprise because we, you know, you have several measurements for success. I think with this ankle monitoring program, one is one is the human element, getting someone who's a first-time nonviolent offender out of jail and preventing institutionalism or institutionalizing that person. I think is a fact is a marker for success. That's one. <laughs> you've got what we deal with most of the time, and that's the financial aspect of it. I did not foresee, maybe I was being naive, but I did not foresee that for every one person you get out, there's someone waiting to take their place. And that's that's the unfortunate part of it. Now, for me, I'm not at the point, I'm not Commissioner Evans, but I'm not at the point that I want to discontinue the program, but it's disheartening. You know, because we were hoping that an additional plus would be that we would see a drastic reduction in the sheriff's costs at the jail with you know, health care and housing and all of that, but it, uh... But I'm sure the county counts health care as a saving. And then if that one that you release out, that's basically you get to bring it up again. So that would be a little crazy. And it points to a, Commissioner Martha points to a large problem. The, the problem is so comprehensive that at the very least what ankle monitoring is it is a small portion of a larger solution that's needed but i think that i would like to stick team for another year and we'll see what happens with it and, and discuss our options then but i i was not anticipating that there would be no net reduction in expenditures i was not anticipating that i agree i agree, I agree. I mean, I, it was just mine was just the question is, is it a good return on investment? And I, I do, I, I'm not ready to even look at closing it down now, but no, probably right. another year we need to look at yeah, it yeah, yeah. to get some historical data. Trends but that on. is the question that's going to remain before us, I think. Right. I think as long as we can afford it, I would like to see it. Because of, you know, for every one person we can get out of the jail that's a first time nonviolent offender that may not go back. That's a success. To me, that's a success. Right. So, anyway, and that's.